Okay, so Courtney has a question. She said, do I recommend a payroll service with a back office options as well for a new company? Um, Courtney, when you say back office options, are you talking about like add-on services like um, ADP has with the human resources and accounting? Okay. I'm going to say, if, so if you're talking about add-on services or add-on features similar to what ADP offers, I was going to say it depends. The one thing about having the, or getting into the add-on features or even outsourcing is that there's a fee involved. So, um, and maybe Sandra, you can let us know. Um, yes, onboarding insurance, etc. Okay, so there's a fee involved. So, for instance, ADP offers like a basic plan, and then each time you add on a new service with them, say you do the human resources, which I think covers the um, insurance piece, but and I'm pretty sure they'll cover the onboarding, but maybe not. But each time you add, you're, you're adding an additional fee. And it may not be feasible or even economical to do that as a small business that maybe has five employees working. Um, it might be a better option to hire a accounting payroll type of person and have them manage it for you. Just because a lot of times the fee is based on how much your um, payroll is generating. So sometimes if the um, sometimes it could be a monthly fee. So like Intuit has a monthly fee, sixty dollars a month for two users to use the system and run their own payroll. But ADP or another system, and I'm not one hundred percent sure it's the case for ADP. But some other systems may say, oh, so for every thousand dollars that you run in payroll we get 1% of that. So to me, you have to really make sure that you do your research and due diligence, whether or not it's worth it. So if you're running payroll every week and you're, say your payroll is $1,000, um, could you use that money towards hiring a person to do that? And that's when I say kind of do your research. Um, in the long run, would you continue to want it have wanting to have the service outsourced, or do you want to kind of establish your company and have a human resources type of um, setup in your office? So I think a lot of that, Courtney, when you make that decision, is kind of how you see your business operating in the future. Um, some people's businesses they just want to keep it where everybody's virtual. So in that case, an outsource of payroll is probably a better option. But if you wanted to do a brick and mortar location for your business, maybe having a person doing the payroll might be a better option. But that's a good question. Those are things you wanna consider just because they can be costly or it can become costly or it can be time consuming. So that's kind of the trade off between doing it in-house versus outsourcing is time versus money is the best way I can um, explain it. So anybody else have any questions? <laughs> 